Let's get right into it with five of the most important things you need to know about the Apple Watch Series 3. What's up YouTube? It's your boy. So Apple has done it. They have officially announced their new 2017 products at their September 2017 Apple event, including a new Apple Watch, a new Apple TV 4K, and th three! Three new iPhones. Two new iPhone models, but three iPhones in total. And today's a very special day because we're going to talk about the new Apple Watch, the Apple Watch Series 3, and break down the five most important things you need to know about it. For those of you who are subscribed to this channel, you already know that I'm a huge Apple Watch fan, currently rocking the Apple Watch Series 1 in this video. And the Apple Watch for me has seriously become one of the most useful, helpful little gadgets I never thought I would actually use on a daily basis. It's a gadget I didn't know I would fall totally in love with until it was attached to my wrist. The rest is history. I've been hooked on the Apple Watch ever since. So without further ado, let's get right into it with five of the most important things you need to know about the Apple Watch Series 3. First things first, and this is a big one, one version of the Apple Watch Series 3 actually has cellular connectivity, LTE, built in to the Apple Watch Series 3. Now it's important to know that there are two versions of the Apple Watch Series 3. There's the version with GPS and cellular, and then there's the version with just GPS and no cellular. But the version with cellular built in may come as a huge plus for some who wanted to be able to use their Apple Watch whether they're out on the go, whatever they're doing. Without the need for having an iPhone nearby, you can now make and receive phone calls and text messages right on your Apple Watch, even if your iPhone isn't within a close proximity to you. So when would you use this? Maybe you're going out on a run and you realize halfway through your run, you have to call someone or text someone, you could do it right from your Apple Watch. Or maybe you're out running errands and you suddenly forgot your phone and also what you were supposed to pick up for errands. Maybe you have to call up the wife and ask her, do you need to pick up milk? Well, if you don't have your phone, it's not a problem. As long as you have your Apple Watch, you can make and receive phone calls and text messages right on the Apple Watch Series 3 with the cellular and GPS model. And yes, in case you're wondering, you can use your existing phone number on the Apple Watch Series 3 in order to make and receive phone calls and text messages. You will not need a separate phone number in order for these features to work. LTE built in, something to consider. Has the outside of the Apple Watch changed? Well, short answer, no. The casing on the Apple Watch Series 3 is the exact same size as it was before. Only slight difference, I believe, is that the glass crystal on the back of the Apple Watch is like two pieces of paper worth slightly thicker, but when we're talking in reality and practical terms, no. The Apple Watch Series 3 is basically the exact same size as it was before. Now the cellular version of the Apple Watch Series 3 does have a red dot, like a red, a special red digital crown. Not really sure what the significance of that is, but if that's your thing, the cellular version of the Apple Watch Series 3 does have a special red digital crown. With the cellular version of the Apple Watch Series 3, you will also get an exclusive Explorer Apple Watch Face. This new watch face will actually show the signal of your cellular connection. Cellular. Why am I having a hard time saying that today? So the outside hasn't changed, but what about talking point number three? What's on the inside? Apple Watch Series 3 uses the Apple third generation S3 architecture to fit everything inside of it, which includes a new dual core processor and a new custom wireless chip. The Series 3 new dual core processor will actually allow for faster processing times. I think they said up to 70% faster processing times, which is super fast. The new custom wireless chip actually allows for better Bluetooth and wireless efficiency and speeds. Wi-Fi will be up to 85% faster, and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi will be 50% more efficient. It's no secret that on the Series 1 and the Series 2, certain apps could take a little while to start up, maybe they could be a little glitchy, but with the new Apple Watch Series 3, you should definitely notice faster app startup times, smoother graphics, and wait for it, Siri voice feedback. You'll be able to talk to and hear Siri right from the Apple Watch speaker, something I kind of wish I had in the Series 1. Up fourth, we're gonna talk about music. In case you weren't already an Apple Music subscriber, now might be the time when you get sucked in. You can now actually stream the Apple Music library right from your Apple Watch Series 3 with access to over 40 million songs in the Apple Music library, which is a very large amount of songs. But knowing you can now stream Apple Music right on your Apple Watch Series 3 is definitely something to consider. All this is pointing to the fact that the Apple Watch Series 3 with the cellular connection is becoming much more and more a standalone device 
without the need for the iPhone nearby. And all this sounds great and all, but how much does the new Apple Watch Series 3 cost? Pretty simple and straightforward answer. The Apple Watch Series 3 with cellular and GPS will start at $399, and the Apple Watch Series 3 with just the GPS and no cellular will start at $329. Now there are a lot more minor details in addition to the ones we just mentioned for the new features and upgrades with the Apple Watch Series 3. For those of you who already own or about to own an Apple Watch, you can check out my Apple Watch videos playlist on this channel. In that Apple Watch video playlist, we talk about all sorts of things regarding the Apple Watch, including the best apps for the Apple Watch, how to customize your Apple Watch face, the best bands for your Apple Watch, something I'm really looking up my game with. I'm really looking to up my Apple Watch band game. And for more information and the best deals and prices on the Apple Watch and accessories, Accessories, you can always check out more information on that in the video description box below as well. But in the meantime, let me know what you think about the Apple Watch Series 3. Are you excited for it? Do you think it could have been a little bit better? Will you be getting the cellular version or will you be just getting the GPS version? Comment down below your thoughts on the Apple Watch Series 3. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Apple Watch Series 3, so cool, so intuitive, which means this Apple Watch Series 1 might be on sale pretty soon. Anyone, uh, anyone want to buy it?